Meerut, a historical city in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh in India, also known for the manufacture of world-class sports equipment, will witness a transformational change with the introduction of India's first regional rail and Meerut Metro. Regional Rapid Transit System RRTS, is a rail-based, high-speed, high-frequency, safe and comfortable commuter network that will connect key urban nodes in the national capital region. India's first RRTS corridor is being constructed between Delhi, Ghaziabad and Meerut. Begumpur RRTS station is one of the underground stations located in the heart of Meerut on a busy road that connects Delhi and Rurki. It is being constructed in an area adjacent to a local market which has a high daily footfall, very heavy traffic flow and challenges like land acquisition. NCRTC has ensured minimal disruption and inconvenience to the public during construction. A comprehensive traffic management plan is being put in place to divert the traffic flow along with a pedestrian walkway with handrails as a temporary arrangement until the construction of the station is completed. The station box, which is underground, is 248 meters long, 27.4 meters wide, and 22 meters deep, and the platform will be at a depth of about 19 meters from ground level. For easy access to commuters, four entry and exit gates are provided. This four-level station is being constructed using the top-down method. As the name suggests, in this technique, the construction starts from the top and then goes down, level by level, until the last planned level. Construction work starts with the barricading of the site, identifying and shifting of the existing utilities, shops and residences infringing on the site, and diverting road traffic temporarily. This is followed by the construction of guide walls, which are temporary structures used to maintain the verticality of the diaphragm wall that prevents soil collapse. Then, the diaphragm walls are constructed, which are the foundation walls and serve as the retention systems of the station. Then the plunge columns are installed. These columns are temporary columns used to support slabs at different levels and are removed after the casting of permanent columns between the base slab and roof slab. This is followed by the casting of the roof slab, following which excavation is done below the roof slab. Temporary openings are provided for easy excavation and construction of slabs. After casting the mezzanine slab, excavation is further taken up for the concourse slab through the temporary openings. And a similar process is followed for the platform level and undercroft level. RRTS tunnels have a clear internal diameter of 6.5 meters which is larger than the metro systems in the country. This is due to the large size of the RRTS rolling stock and high design speed of 180 km per hour. Twin tunnels are being bored using state-of-the-art tunnel boring machines, TBMs, named Sudarshan. These machines are also installing precast tunnel rings concurrently. The spacious platforms will have platform screen doors to enhance commuter safety. This aesthetically designed station 
has been provided with modern passenger amenities like seven lifts, 18 escalators, information display boards and system maps. The spacious lifts can carry stretchers to handle medical emergencies. The concourse level has ticket counters, AFC gates to enter paid areas, public utility kiosks like ATMs, etc., CCTV monitoring, public toilets, and firefighting systems are also being provided on the station premises. The street level plan of this station will be aesthetically designed with landscaping, pick-up and drop-off points and multimodal integration along with entry and exit gates, ancillary buildings, etc. This world-class station will not only be universally accessible but will also be environmentally friendly. Citizens of Meerut are also getting their first metro through this project. At Begampul, people will get both Meerut Metro and RRTS services on the same platform. Meerut Metro services will be provided with 13 stations in a corridor of 21 kilometers. Despite enormous challenges, the construction of the entire RRTS corridor is currently progressing as per schedule. This station will be up and running by 2025.